there's nothing quite like being on Lake St. Clair on a beautiful day. And that's part of what made Michael Cram want to open his first restaurant here. And I grew up in this area and I knew that this was a, a hopping place when I was a kid. And my son was going into it with me and he kind of came up with the concept to bring a little bit of the uh, Woodward Avenue feel over here, be a good restaurant that featured Detroit and local Michigan products. They opened up The Current in 2015, and true to their plan, Michigan took center stage. They have a lot of Michigan-based beers, a lot of Michigan-based products, everything kind of has a Michigan theme to it. Our artwork is from the Detroit Artist Market, so it's local Michigan artists, and our soundtrack features all Michigan-related artists in some way, shape, or form. Their menu also features the Great Lakes State. We feature Fago and Verner's ginger ale and better made potato chips. You know, we get our lamb from Adams Meats in Greek Town and use Northern Lake seafood and get a lot of lake fish. Not everything's grown in Michigan year round, but when we can get it, we will. And we just find ways to incorporate it in what we're doing, like our better made breading that uses the better made chips. They serve a new take on traditional American cuisine, like their Reuben egg rolls. And since their chef has celiac disease, many of their dishes are gluten-free. They can come somewhere and feel comfortable that the person preparing their food knows what they're dealing with. One popular example of a gluten-free dish is their blackened perch tacos. We start off by grilling up some corn tortillas. Typically you want two because it's going to hold better and not break when you're eating the taco. And that's kind of tradition. And next step is we want to get the perch working. What we're going to do is take our house black and seasoning. Go ahead and you can go pretty liberal on there. So what is in blackening seasoning? And I it's notice it's not black right now. No, no. It, it's a mixture of uh, Cajun seasoning and uh, a little bit of cayenne pepper and a couple other house ingredients in there. Secrets so, I can't know? Exactly. Then, onto the grill they go. Those are working. We're going to go ahead and get those tortillas off and uh, start building the tacos. We're going to go ahead and place them in the bottom of the plate and angle each right side of the tortilla. And we're going to put one right next to it so it's almost like a U and they're kind of holding each other together. So this is like the secret to doing multiple tacos so that you don't have to like, what, flop the exactly. tortillas off. Yeah, save a lot of time. We top the tortillas with some shredded lettuce and cabbage. The cabbage gives it a nice crunch. That's why we put that in there. And you want to put probably about a quarter cup in, in the bottom of each tortilla. I have no idea of measurements. Is that a quarter that's, cup? That's perfect. And as soon as the perch is done, we're going to lay that in a taco, and then we'll get to building the rest of it with the different toppings. We use pico de gallo. We use chimichurri. Mm -hmm. This is South American sauce. Uh, it's the main base is parsley, but you've got vinegar in there, some tarragon, a couple other spices, and then it's topped also with avocado and garnished with a lime, and then we put a little bit on the side if they want to put a little bit more zest into it.